You make him look as good as that? <laughs> <laughs> this is not, what's that episode? What's the episode name? Things that, uh, think so easy Andrew can do it? Yeah. This isn't that. I mean, I have done it, but it don't look near like that. That's for damn sure. Here at Project Car Paradise, as you can see, with Andrew. Yes, sir. Here at uh, Cortorsi, Cortusi Speed and Custom and Fab, and <laughs> and he's got me my Christmas present here. It's pretty exciting. Yep, Santa came early. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, well, day two. Couldn't have you on the eBay, you know, using the eBay tag while they're forever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's blue, so it's basically a Miller, right? Oh, yeah. I like that connection. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one from you. <laughs> All right, so day two. Andrew's been tinkering a little on the side, getting some uh, cleanup work done here. And uh, yeah, what, what are we gonna get done today? All of it. All of it. All you of heard it. that. Suspension together, chassis painted, air ride working with a ball valve, and uh, yeah, bed cut back on, wheels on, done. That, take it back just a little. <laughs> By five o'clock. <laughs> take it back. Do the lift. Dial her back. No. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Rear suspension done. Laid out on the ground. Hopefully sit on the back bumper at least so I can get a little more inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's weird when something looks broke, mm -hmm. it gets me excited. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh wow, this thing doesn't look like it would function. Yeah, perfect. This is fun. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we're gonna Let's start where we left off. Uh, well, actually, he's already started here, getting the rear end cleaned up. Going to work on getting the saddles put on. Uh, you know, one of the last things we'll do is set the pinion angle and weld that up. We'll get everything else squared up first and make sure it's functioning properly. But yeah, get back and start cleaning and squaring notch and yeah, walk you through it. Hey yo, we back. All right, so catch up here. Got started. We already had the notch on and we had it pretty much, you know, kind of figured out where we wanted it to be, but had to pull it back off so that we can clean up all the metal around where we're going to weld. You don't want to just like put it on there and if you were to like, just, oh, we'll just grind like as close as we can. Nah, man, you're, you're gonna have that little bit of paint and grease and rust like right there, exactly where you want the weld to be. And it's just gonna it's just gonna mess you up you're gonna get either porosity in the weld or you're gonna get a weak weld or something we can't have that so pull it back off takes it take the extra few minutes clean all that up um, at first I was kind of I was kind of impressed with the fact that these were painted until I got grinding on it and I'm really don't like the fact that these were painted because whatever they used on these was a very cheap paint and it like gummed up and marred up and it took a while to clean all our edges up to weld if I were to ever order one of these again, or get Andrew to order one of these again, <laughs> we may ask him to like not paint the next one. Just, I mean, we're gonna paint the rails anyway, so painting this much more, and you gotta weld it, so you gotta paint the perimeter anyway, so. Next time, we may do something a little different there, but uh, coming in, the bottom edges, these hung down another like quarter inch, almost past the bottom of the frame rail. So we trimmed those back. Uh, yes, you could have came in and welded probably from the bottom, but you're not gonna get as good a weld upside down like that as you will right here on this perimeter. This will be much stronger and you're still getting that nice bend area for a lot of strength. So cleaned all that up, not only cleaning the edge here, so this bottom edge, but also cleaning back, you know, quarter, half inch on the, the face here because as you start welding, especially with this cheap crappy paint they put on here, you start welding and this stuff starts melting down and getting in your weld and we're right back to the porosity issue we had before we ever started. So just grind it back a little bit. It takes a few extra minutes, but it's fine. And the way we lined it up, originally we thought <coughs> we were gonna square it up with the bump stop, you know, and it's, it's pretty close to that, but what we decided to do 
was take the arm and put the uh, the perch on there and kind of get it arm where it's pretty level. And we use that to find the center line and it's just a touch back. You know, how much is that, Andrew? How far back is that? Half inch. Yeah, half, half inch back. You know, and like you can see the arc of the arm. It'll move forward as you know, like he drops the bags to- Where it's know, gonna live, right there. Yeah, where it's gonna live, like right about there, you know, when we're dragging past Main Street Saloon in Daytona Beach, <laughs> like a homeboy was a few weeks ago. Yes, sir. But, you know, so just kind of eyeballed it there. Uh, you know, it's got a, I don't know, like a three and a quarter inch axle tube. So, you know, it'll live here and you know, It'll be somewhere in that ballpark. So that'll get us nice and centered in the notch. So now what we'll do is we'll come in and Andrew likes to use the word tack. I'm not a big tack fan. I'm gonna just, let's go ahead and sew it in <laughs> <laughs> and hope for the best. But you, could, if you've never done this before, it's probably best to tack it. You know, get that tacked in and you can come in and cut your center section out. Use a Sawzall, you know, slice and dice, whatever you feel like. Cut that out and then there's boxing plates for the bottom. Tack that in as well and sew it up. Big thing here, Let's make sure the frame is level. So we have jack stands at the very back. We have them at the, you know, maybe a foot back from the cab here. And if you can see back here, we, we used paint sticks. And what that did is that shimmed it up. You know, you, if you've ever used these Harbor Freight jack stands, you'll know there's a, there's a big difference in height. So you can shim them up with just paint sticks are easy. Most shops have them laying around. And obviously the front end's still on the tires, which what we'll do is we'll come in there and make sure they're aired up the same. Just, you don't want any kind of twist or flex in the chassis. You wanna make sure it's square and flat because if there is any twist or flex, when you start like laying all that heat to that, that one point in the frame, it can cause it to relax a little bit, as well as when we cut the center out, you know, for that little bit of time, there won't be anything in there. You don't want any kind of movement, so. Just make sure it's nice and flat and square. Take the extra 20, 30 minutes just to do the prep work. And make sure you're gonna have a, a good square, flat foundation to work with. So we need to do those tires. Oh yeah, <laughs> as you talk through it, you're like going through all the steps in your yeah, head, Well, right? I've been meaning to tell you, but I hate hearing the air compressor run, so. I got my good tire on it too. Oh, that's a good one now. Yeah. I got another 100,000 on that yeah, one. Yeah, oh, Then easy. we get it recapped. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, all right. let's do that and then we'll get to sewing it up. Cool. Yes, they turned up pretty good. Be careful now, don't go paying my equipment no compliments. <laughs> I mean, usually ain't a red welder kind of feller, but. <laughs> what just a second ago and said, I don't like tacks. Well, I don't like tacking in the fucking underwear. Tacking it to make sure it doesn't move. When I go in there and those, uh, those London Bridge wells on there. <laughs> Smoking. All right, can you make him look as good as that? <laughs> <laughs> this is not, what's that episode? What's the episode name? Things that, uh, think so easy Andrew can do it? Yeah. This isn't that. I mean, I have done it, but it don't look near like that. That's for damn sure. of the So Easy Andrew Could Do It series. <laughs> I can cut some shit out, that's for sure.
turn the video on the one that doesn't go as well too. <laughs> Nothing like cutting your perfectly good frame in half. Yeah. Dang, Andrew, pretty uh, pretty slick job there on the nickels. Oh, thanks. <laughs> self-taught. Self-taught, yeah. yeah self-taught. All right, now we, we got the uh, we got her welded in. Time for our uh, boxing plates. Well, actually, you cut it out with sawzall. You know, we'll have to doctor it up just to make sure it's nice and square with the notch itself you know it's always gonna have just a little slaggy here and there not yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah put the knot you got the notch plates yep yeah. boxing plates boxing plates. <laughs> oh we got three pieces on okay you thought they would do all that crap and weld it all together and smooth their welds, which we we'll probably know why they did. They thought they would at least press break us some plates, right, for the correct angle? No, it's gonna be a couple pieces. <laughs> huh. Yeah, you get that on these cheap jobs. <laughs> you really will. All right, so hold them up there. Let's, let's show the people out here in YouTube land what this. You know, most of you guys, if you're watching this, you've probably done it or seen it, but. It's super self-explanatory. One guy will go over there. Another guy will go there. With a little, with a little trim of Ruski. Yeah, a lot, a lot of trim. And then my third hand will pick it up and then it'll put the other <laughs> one over here. My, my third arm. All right, that's Bailey about that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's done a lot more in pickup metal in its life. There you go. Yep. And see, so we got these ones. Okay, these ones don't hang over like some of them do. But yeah, pretty straightforward. Trim them, weld them. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. Jeez. This is why it's good to have friends. Okay. Just well, like you're sitting at home on the couch, <laughs> watching Puddin's Fat Shot on Monday afternoons. Get comfortable when you weld. Jeez. Make a better weld. Yeah, buddy. Put the old eagle eye on her here. <laughs> oh, look at you. Look at you. Oh my goodness. I can't I can't work in these conditions. Cords everywhere. Hey, just creased on my 
my helper here, aka owner of the truck and the <laughs> shop, <laughs> can keep all my cords that I'm jambling up straight. You're hard to keep up. Well, Look at you. Working so fast. You know. Couple couple little tack of we, we aren't gonna talk about that. What do you always say? If you can if you can step across it, you can weld it, right? If you step across it, you can weld it. Yes, sir. Especially with a good old MIG. I was gonna say, this ain't a, that's not what they call TIG fitting it. Nah. Is it? This is basically like a metal hot glue gun. There you go. I yep. love that. Well, yeah, so got the bag mounts here. We got them squared up, you know, level, front to rear, side to side, you know, everything they need to be <laughs> tacked up. Uh, we set the rear end square. So what we did, you'll show them, Andrew. Yeah, I'm going to show them what we did right here. <laughs> so I stood back about right here and I said, eh, a little bit to the left now. That looking good. And then we just went ahead and tacked her in. Now go ahead. Uh, so we took and we took some measurements here. We did from the edge, and you can use any of the points on the spring perch itself. Measured from the edge to the backing plate. Made sure that was the same side to side. But first, we made sure the arms were settled and square in the bushing. So we, you know, did that side to side. And I got our rear end, and we checked from the face of the notch to there. Made sure that was also square, and that got us set up for our pan hard bar mount. And Andrew got all that cleaned up, and. Yeah, got these tacked in, and after the messing around and stuff, we're going to double check the rear end as well, make sure that's still good. Because remember, measure three times, weld twice. <laughs> There's no cutting in between any of that, right? Oh, no. Okay. All right, turn the music back on. Well check. Well check. Shee. Not bad for some flux core, eh? <laughs> that was a badass flux core. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you know those guys that can't afford hydraulics, so they get half-inch airlines on their backs? <laughs> that's that guy. I'm about to hop this thing off these jack stands right now. I'm going to tell you that. That's for sure. Yeah, so we got done. You know, put a little some, uh, put some caterpillars on the plates here. Got everything snug. Nothing's tight. Nothing's finalized, as you can see. I mean, it's just it's just on here. It's so never we wanna... back apart. Never again. That's we... how it looks forever. It's going to rust. It's fine. Just kidding. You better be kidding. I want to see this thing detailed, cut and buff, frame rails. It's going to Riddler next year. I know year. a painter who will do that for me for free. Taylor? I don't know how, I don't know if he works for free. I don't know if we're that good of friends yet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I got everything just kind of on here. Pan hard on. It came with obviously the pan hard mount there. And then this bracket. We added just a little gusset because we had it and it looks cool and I thought it needed it. So can't hurt okay so uh yeah so we haven't put the shocks on yet just because we don't have them here but that's whatever shocks are shock you get the point point. and we're way too excited to test this to wait on shocks so let's see uh, take the test piece get that out of here all right it's sitting like on the notch right now on both sides this is actual against the notch too. right right so we're sitting on the non-existent bump stops those are the bump stops yeah yeah, the teeth rattlers. When it bumps, you stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to share with you guys our first time putting air in the system. This is a uh, make or break. We got some really nice swivel all metal DOT stuff, and we got some Amazon Maypop 90 work. degree. Had to make it work, you know? Yeah, it's fine. So, obviously, all this is half inch, but you know that's not so you won't get part of the effect until we get the actual paddles and everything in it but 
it's still going to be kind of neat. So this is this is first time blow or go. I hear a little leak. Well, th the, right now the ball that was closed, obviously. So only thing that's pressurized right now is this. Okay. I like, don't know where to stand right now, dude. I'm easy, easy does it. I'm nervous. You might hop off onto me right now. I seriously doubt that, but. Or it might not do anything. <laughs> there it goes. You want to go? We'll go up slow the first time. Oh, there it goes. That was kind of anticlimactic. I went slow, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't go too fast at first, right? I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, wait, get this. So I look at it, right? <laughs> what not happened a was. Not a single thing is touching the jack stand. <laughs> and I'm like, what is it going off of right now? Whatever it is, it's about to fall off. Oh, it was the jack that slid forward. <laughs> so, let's lower that. All right, this is what happens when you consume a uh, baker's dozen of alcoholic beverages. I mean, uh, work for hours on those, a... those punches will get you, dude. Yeah, we had a little, we had some not beers today. You want to lower it down? We'll lower it back down. It's kind of, I don't know, whatever you want to do. This is your show. It's on those stands right now. Okay. It's kind of on your side. I mean, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that, like... That's a lot of lift. That's a lot of lift. That's, like, way good for ride height, too. Whoa, whoa. did you just say this is ride height? No, no. Don't <laughs> misunderstand me here. Okay. Here, please, allow me to show you ride height. And as we proceed to fall off all the jack stands... I was gonna say, I'm gonna make sure it's still on the jack stand. As it gets on those jack stands. Get, get rid of all these jack stands. <laughs> get out of here. We don't no, need these I where need, we're going. I need these jack stands out. You're fine. You're done. <laughs> You're done, bud. All right, come on. Let's get all the jack stands. I want to see. So. I want to see this sucker on the concrete. I'm saying. All right, all right. Give me, give me, give me a second, man. Cut, cut the film here for a second. Come on, get, give it a few more pumps. I got plenty in me. 10, 15. <laughs> On a good night. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. It's never happened to me before. I would have been smarter to leave air in it, honestly, at this point. Why I did you been... not leave air in it? Listen, I don't pretend to know what I'm doing, okay? Like some people. Oh, jeez. You just see it live here, right now. This is, this is the struggle live. Let's go ahead and show This you. is what I have to work with. It's fun to watch, though. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's entertaining. Alright. Again, so like... Oh! It's not... Oh, it's on the jack. Rack it! Come on! Woo! Hop it off! Mister, I'm gonna hop it off the jack stands over here. <laughs> That's fun in theory, alright? <laughs> get, get these out of here, man. We don't need these little... All these extension cords and pins and grinders. Who's, who's on cable management? I swear, if, if he buys another grinder and it doesn't have a paddle switch, where do you get those? Apparently not Milwaukee. Yeah, apparently uh, not. Uh, here, lower, lower me down because we're still aired up. All right, aired up, coming down. This ain't got a hair trigger. It doesn't matter. It's full air. Okay, maybe it matters. All right, let's move this thing. I think it's Jack of the Peterbilt. What's this cable management around here? Dude, you're in charge of this cable. Oh my God. I need this out of the way so I can get that bumper shot that we always dream of. All right. <laughs> 
So let's see what all our hard work has done. Oh, let's go. Woo! Oh yeah, so that's gonna be ride height. Oh yeah, on the flow. Oh, look right there, I didn't even notice. On each side of the ball. Yeah. But that's where we mount the drag box. A couple you titanium ain't, blocks right you there. Ain't lying. You ain't lying. It's not even close to the notch either. <clears throat> not even close. But we don't, I don't even need, but the ground is the bump stop at this point. The ground is the bump stop. There is no need. Hey, but you know, you might want to, you might want to put the old house up for sale though. Cause it kind of looks like you need to move to South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> she squatted? She's got, she's got a little lean to her. Oh man. But yeah, so we went with these uh, jumbo unirolls here. Good years, man. Dale Earnhardt Jr. himself run on them tires. Oh my goodness. 255, 50, 20. For the ride quality. For the ride quality. We got these uh, Chunky Boy sidewalls just to give you all the cushion for the pushing. So yeah. these are, uh, like, like we talked about before, Andrew works at Volkswagen dealership. Basically owns the place. And this is the same size that comes on Atlases, right? Atlases. Yeah, Atlas 20. Yeah. yeah, so it's a common size, and our theory here, a couple theories. Uh, one, taller sidewall, going to give us some nice cushion, an available size. So we pop one of these in Daytona Beach, we run to discount tire, they right? They're not going to have this weirdo 285, 25 thing. Right, exactly. They're going to have an Atlas tire, or be able to get one same day, next day. Right. So that was kind of our theory with this size, and also... You know, if they had some that were out of date on the shelf <laughs> or some takeoffs, you know. Yeah. I know the guy can get them. Yeah, I got a good, I got a good deal on uh, on takeoffs. It's the price of on the hats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, literally it saves the company money to do takeoffs because we have to pay a disposal fee. So if I take them from them, they're saving $3 a tire. They, they should be paying me that money practically. Yeah, practically. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about this, man. This is like tons of room for activities. And yeah. You really don't need a bump stop, though. That's not even a joke. You really don't need a bump. It will hit the ground before it even comes close. Well, yeah, but, you know, so we got the angle, right? So with the front up, when we lower the front, then we will need a bump stop there. A little tiny one. A little baby bump stop. Oh, yeah. I got, yeah we got some of the little pancakes. My man, he knows what's up. So yeah, I mean it's pretty cool. Dude, no leaks on my sweet. But hold on, hold on. Amazon. We gotta get the we gotta get the get a get a cap. We gotta get the look. Oh, you gotta get the whole look? Which yeah. one? <laughs> Please, sir, choose your cap. Oh. I have these four caps. I feel like we need to do S10 cap. S10 cap for sure. I have a historic bad reputation for putting caps on, on camera, actually. There we go, and I gotta clock them right now. There we go. So you gotta get them with the bow ties are flat, so when you drive down the road, they're always the same, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's a good look by itself, even being black. Yeah, it really is. That would save a lot of work, too. <laughs> You're like, wait a second, because the chrome, it kind of looks like that black muscle car steely look. Well, also black. look, so you got the, the black with the chrome edging yeah. on the factory moldings, right? Yeah. And you got the black with the chrome center. I mean, excuse me, the black center with the chrome bezel on the emblems. Black, chrome, black. Easier. Black, chrome. No paint necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that'd be it. I mean, you roll like this for a while, too. Yeah, like, like forever, because we're not like some of those people that will, you know, We'll do a project, get it running, and oh, we'll just keep improving and keep tinkering. We get so excited and happy that it's done. We just want to drive it all the time, and they usually all never get, never all get all finished. Sorry, excuse me, real quick. I just got an arrow. Oh. 
Now, I thought it was gonna hop off the ground when you did that, but it's this three, it's this freaking quarter inch line. We talking about the half inch coming in? Oh my god! What's the half inch coming in, man? This little watch out! Watch out now. So yeah, they kind of swivel fittings, which is really sweet. All metal deals here. That's permanent. This is obviously obviously just temporary. Like we're just doing this to play with it and have fun. And one more time for the people. One more time. Yeah, you can see the pan hard, pan harding. It's not the only thing harding around here. Hey! Careful now. Oh yeah. Yeah, the black with the green. I think that's that. I think that's the look. I do too. Plus, someone doesn't have to paint the wheels. It's all right. I got just the thing. Oh. Took a note from Casey's Custom. Went ahead and picked up the old uh, turbo fan, turbo rust oleum. Probably paint the whole truck, honestly. Yeah, with one can, right? One can. Yeah, one can. Show quality. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this. Oh, yeah.